Okay, so this is my voice being transcribed by Whisperflow. Okay, that's pretty accurate. And this is my voice being transcribed by Handy. There you go. So right now, there are two similar tools on my computer that are able to transcribe my speech into text. One is Whisperful, which is very good. It is pretty accurate and very, very popular. You can transcribe your voice into text quite easily. And also it does offer a free plan that I think is pretty generous because you have a limit of 2000 words every week. But after that, you might want to pay for the paid version if you need more. But I also have another tool that works in the same manner as Wizard Flow, but this is completely free. It is offline and it is also much better for privacy. So the name of the tool is Handy. This is an open source project, which means it is being developed and maintained by the community. And if you are interested, you can navigate to handy.computer and then you can go to download and then select the version that is relevant to your system. So basically, after you have downloaded the program to your computer, you can install it. And when you are launching it for the first time, it might ask you to select the model that you want to download. So yeah, it is an AI model that is running locally on your computer. And after that, you can adjust various settings like the shortcut, perhaps the device, the volume level, alongside other things like the startup setting, the overlay position and also you can unload the model so this is very interesting if you are not using handy for let's say more than uh, 10 minutes then it will automatically unload the model so it's going to reduce the memory load on your computer this is very useful if you have a computer that is not very powerful and also you can insert some custom words let's say it's a name or perhaps a brand name where it is usually not in a dictionary then you can insert those words and that's actually pretty handy well no pun intended and also just like whisper flow you can see the history of the words that you said using this tool and again this is an open source community you can contribute via github or perhaps you can donate some money for the development of this amazing AI tool now here you can select the model if you are not quite happy with the model that they use then you can use a bigger model although keep in mind that it is going to be a bit slower when using the bigger model but still it is going to be a lot faster than using whisper flow because whisper flow has to send your transcription over the internet and then the AI model in their server will process that and will send the data back to your computer so i would say handy is going to be way more uh quick compared to WhisperFlow and that's actually a great value proposition and not to mention you can you can reuse this tool completely offline now that doesn't mean that handy is perfect because in many cases i would say WhisperFlow is a lot better particularly because it has a large language model that can fix any mistake like grammar error or punctuation that you say during your speech so let me give you one example i'm going to try uh, saying this word using whisper flow i want to buy two movie tickets sorry i mean three movie tickets so i want to buy three movie tickets even though originally i said two but it is able to notice that i made a mistake i want to get a correction and it can apply that instantly that's be that's because whisper flow do incorporate something called large language model like maybe chat gpt although it's going to be a lot smaller and yeah it is still pretty fast but how about handy well sorry sorry about that i want to buy two movie tickets sorry i mean three movie tickets yep uh, first of all, it is not able to notice that I made a mistake. And secondly, it doesn't know the context. So I said tickets first. And maybe because of my pronunciation is not very accurate, it doesn't know that I'm still talking about movie tickets. But here it says T cats. It's an animal, which is very, very different. So yeah, even though Handy is able to work offline, it is a lot faster. It is better for privacy. I would say there are still some use cases where Wizard of Flow is a lot more relevant than Handy. But still, I think it is worth downloading this tool just in case. 
and maybe you can use a bigger model like i'm using a smaller model here but you can use bigger model to get a better transcription and also if you have a much powerful computer it's going to be a breeze so yeah that's basically everything you need to know about handy and how this could be a great and perhaps better alternative to tools like wizardflow thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video i wish you a great day ahead